It's time for you to build two-player rock, paper, scissors. Now, we've all played the childhood game of rock, paper, scissors, and probably all tried to cheat with Lizard Spock or Dynamite or other things later on. We're going to make sure we only deal in rock, paper, scissors for this particular game. Now, you are going to start off with a spectacular line of code that I've snuck in for you. So please make sure you start with a line of code that's here on the screen for you. This will make sure that whenever you use input, each player won't be able to see what the other one typed in. It will hide what they're typing in from the screen, which means the game is a bit more fun than just seeing the words rock and then you guessing paper. So this will help you out. The brief is simple. You have two players, player one and player two. You're going to ask player one for their move. You're going to ask player two for their move. And then you're going to use a series of if statements and probably nesting to decide who's won, who's drawn, and what the result is. Extra props if you use emoji to illustrate the moves. If you give some sort of amazing commentary to what's happening in this epic battle of the ages between two players in rock, paper, scissors. And my ultimate hint to you for this project is make it nice and simple on yourself. Don't expect the user to type in rock, paper, scissors. Explicitly ask them to type in R for rock, P for paper, and S for scissors. And don't worry about it if they type it in wrong. We'd love to play your two-player game. If you want to share it with us in the community by clicking on the publish button and following the workflow there, or sharing it on the social media of your choice. Use the hashtag replit 100 days of code to get involved in that conversation. Day 15 tomorrow, we're gonna deal with loops. Yeah, yeah. See what, see what I did, Loop, loops. I... 